everyone, it's Karen. Finally received my Cameo 4. I'm going to do a series of videos uh, starting with unboxing the Cameo 4 and then setting it up, using it through all different types of projects and I'm going to take you along and show you how all of that is done. If you have any questions, please post them below and I will get to them and answer them for you. This is where you plug in your power. This is for your USB cable and this is obviously the on and off switch. This is your power connector. This is the USB connector. Oops, it goes the other way. So now that my USB cable is connected, the power is on, I can turn the machine on. Next, I'm going to go onto the Silhouette website to register my Cameo. To do that, I need to take this serial number right over here at the back of the machine. Okay, so I'm going to register my Cameo 4. If you already have an account, click right over here to sign in before you register. If you don't have an account with Silhouette America, enter all that the required information here and go through that process. After submitting my registration, it, the website shows me all of this information. So these are the items that you should have received in your box. There are actually four tool adapters here, not only one. And it's telling you to remove all the foam and tape, connect the silhouette, which I've done. And it says, do not connect the USB to, to your computer yet. So I'm going to go and unplug that. And it says, set up the Silhouette Cameo 4. There's no link here, so I'm going to continue to the next step. I'm on a Mac. And it's getting the software for me. This is the latest version. So I'm going to download it to my temp directory. It's downloading right here. When this is done, it will show. And I'll be able to install it on my computer. I actually have the old version running, so I'm going to quit this. Okay, so it's ready. So I will double click. I'm going to drag the icon over to the Applications folder and that will install the program for me. Since I'm on a Mac, I can decide to keep the two versions of the software or to replace the one that's on my system. I'm going to replace. And it's installing. Okay, so that's done. I can close this window and continue on to the next step. Okay, I'm going to go to the store by clicking here. These are the um, software versions. I want to sign up for my one. I already did sign up for my free one month subscription. When I finished registering, when I finished registering my machine, there was a code for me to click that I was able to do that. So I'm going to continue to the next step. Now it's going to say to open the library in the software. So I'm going to start up the software. It's going to come up with a message here that I need to confirm to open the program because it's a new version. So I need to open it. I do have the business edition running already, so that's recognized. And here's the software. Now it's saying welcome and I can find out more information about what's new in version 4.3. So I'm going to click next so I can choose my machine in the workflow. And you can see a list of the recent colors used. That's very handy. I can add a range of line patterns to my designs. There are new materials for the Silhouette Cameo 4 because of course the Cameo 4 can cut much thicker materials. It has added Cameo 4 capabilities to custom materials. 
If you need further help, you can find all of this information in the help menu. And that's it, so we'll get started. So now I need to go to the cloud, which is the library. And it's automatically syncing my library here. It has been synced. My 7,500 files are here, so that's fine. So I'm gonna go back to the design screen here, since this is done. And the next step is for me to set up my Bluetooth. Wait a second. Mm, okay, it's a little bit confusing how the manual is written or the startup guide is written. Um, it's talking about the machine. It's not talking about the software. It says power on the Cameo by pressing the power button on the right side of the machine. Then it says click the Bluetooth icon bottom right, but that's actually press the Bluetooth button on the Cameo machine. Then when, the blue, when Bluetooth is enabled on the Cameo, the icon will turn blue. So my icon is currently blue. So it should be working fine. So now I need to get my computer to recognize that I have a Bluetooth device. So depending on whether you have a Mac or a PC, this will be slightly different. On my Mac, all I need to do is open up my system preferences, go to my Bluetooth option, and let's see if it's going to find my Cameo, it should find it automatically. There it is. So I'm going to connect it. And once it says connected, right here, then everything is set up for Bluetooth. So apparently I should be getting a message at some point that a firmware update is available because I have the Bluetooth enabled. In the meantime, it looks like I'm ready to go. So I'm going to just type in some text and do a test cut. And I'm going to send it to the Cameo. I'm using a little bit of a heavier cardstock, so I'm going to choose, um, I'm gonna choose chalkboard cardstock with the auto blade. It's set to four with a force of 29 and a speed of three. Okay, and so that's in tool one. Now it's saying that the machine is unavailable so I need to come down to this icon, click it here, and choose my Cameo 4. And you see it shows that it's available as a Bluetooth device. It's connecting, syncing. Aha, you see now it shows me that it, there's a firmware update available, so I need to connect that via USB. So I'm going to turn off my machine, connect the USB cable, Turn the machine back on. Now I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. It still shows a Bluetooth connection. So I'm going to disable the Bluetooth connection. Well, it's not showing here. Oh, no, it's right here. And it says it's not connected. So that's fine. Okay, I just wanted to make sure of that. Connect the machine and then click update now, except I don't see an update now option unless it's here. I have a feeling it's this. It's ready. Update now. Okay, that's what it was. I'm going to show you that again. Click on this little icon over here that shows you the number of machines you have connected. This is my Bluetooth machine and this is the same machine. Whoops, not that one. Oh, uh, where are we? This is the same machine connected via USB. I think it's this one. Let me double check here. Yes, and then it tells me, and you can see, it looks like a Cameo 4. If you want to see the difference of another one, when I had my Cameo 3 attached, for example, this looks like a Cameo 3. So that's not the right machine, and it's not available because it's not attached or turned on. I'm going to click this again, and I'm going to choose the USB one that is available. And from there, I can click update now and it's updating my firmware. Now it says do not turn it off and it's going to take, what did I read here? It's gonna take 10 to 15 minutes for the firmware to update. So I will let it do that and then I'll come back. Well, that didn't take long at all. It uh, s turned itself off, started back up again and I'm back in business. It took about five minutes. So this should be ready to cut. 
my mat back in. Now I'm connected via USB, so I will just let that go ahead and click send. Beautifully. So I'm pretty pleased with my Cameo 4. Um, I mean, this isn't much, but so far, so good. And I'm going to continue doing different types of tests, and I will let you know what happens. Thanks so much for watching.